Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at the Street Fighter deck building game by Cryptozoic. It's much like the DC deck building game, Lord of the Rings deck building game, so on and so on. But it's a fun game. Street Fighter has a little bit different mechanics. They just kind of have their own little twist on it, but pretty much all the same game. So whatever theme you want on there, pick the one you like, play it. Here's a basic setup here. Main deck to the left, your stages and stuff. Character cards, you're going to pick your character at the beginning of the game. So you got like Bison, Vega, Akuma, Zangief, Dalsum, Kami, Fei Long, Blanca, Ken Ryu, E Honda, Barak, Chun Li, and Sagat. So, one was missing, that's who we picked. We're going to pick Guile. So, once you got your character, you're going to get his Ultra Combo. So, search through the Ultra Combo list, or deck of cards, grab the one that matches your character. They all cost six. You'll be able to purchase it later. It's going to go underneath the character at the beginning of the game. So you always have it available for purchase. There you go. All right. Now let's go over some of the card types. So we got the villain, superpower, hero, and equipment. So these are the type of cards that will be coming out from the main deck that you're going to purchase to beat stages and continue through the game. Okay, let's take a look at the starter cards. You're going to get 7 punches and 3 vulnerabilities. Punches are worth 1 point, vulnerabilities are worth nothing. So you're going to draw 5 at the beginning of your turn. That'll be your starting hand. The rest of the cards will go face down into your draw pile, which you'll draw other cards from. And at the beginning of your turn, you'll draw 5 more. All right, set those down. We're going to put out the main row from the top of the deck. It's going to be five cards. We have a superpower, a villain, a villain, a villain. Move these over a little bit. And a villain. All right, so it'll cost three, five, two, four, and eight. So. Nothing like getting an 8 on your first turn. Or a 6, which is a, you know, your ultra card that's underneath your character. You can purchase, you know, it's your turn, and you have 6 power, you can grab it. Okay, so let's, in our hand here, we have 3 power. Get a kick, they're always available, or plus 2 power. They cost 3. Again, focus. But that two card, that jury card, is better than a kick. So it costs only two and it has an attack on it. Attack, you attack foes with which is other players in the game. So attack, that foe discards a card. That's a really good <laughs> really good thing for you, bad for them of course. And it's plus two power, same as a kick. So there's no reason not to buy this versus a a kick unless your character does something with superpowers like Superman does in the DC deck building, etc, etc. But in this game, you would definitely grab Jerry. Then, at the end of your turn, you refill the row from the top of the deck. Then, the goal is to beat the location cards. That costs 7. That's USA. It's the first card. There's 8 of them in this game. You're going to check your hand, see if you can get to it. Vulnerabilities or nothing. You want to get to seven or above. When you do decide to get a stage, that's all you're going to do. You're not going to be able to buy anything else. So you can buy multiple cards from the row, or you can beat the stage. When you attempt to beat a stage, you're going to flip over the hero deck, or the, the big cards, and that's going to be a boss. It's going to counterattack just you, put the superpower in your discard pile, or in play underneath your superhero. So you'll be able to buy it later, or you can just leave it there. So something bad happens to you when you try to get it, unless you have a defense card, then you can play a defense against the counterattack. This you have to fulfill the requirements and then the bad thing will not happen to you. So that's how that works. So it's good to have some defense cards in your deck. Once you get all the stages, you're gonna count up the lower uh, right hand points in the star there. 
So Stasis are worth more, big cards are worth more, like he's worth three, most cards are worth one. Count up all your victory points. At the end of the game, whoever has the most victory points is the winner of the game. I do like these deck building games a lot. I mean, you can slap any theme on them. They're pretty fun. They're a good game. It's a little more than like Monopoly. So it's a good game for non-gamers to get into and have a little more meat to a game than like a roll and move game. So I do like them a lot. I suggest it. If you like Street Fighter, grab Street Fighter. If you like superheroes, grab DC superheroes. And if you like them both, grab them all. I think I have most of them or I play most of them. The Cartoon Network ones, I was like, eh, kind of, I think I got rid of those. But I do like Street Fighter. DC Superhero is probably the best one. There's Lord of the Rings. Those are pretty good. All right, there you have it, the Street Fighter deck building game. It's a fun game. If you like Street Fighter, I suggest it. It's got great art. It's easy to play. It's pretty cheap to pick up. I think it's under 30 bucks. So I highly recommend Street Fighter deck building.